This video is meant to be a supplement to Planet Cancun 2's uh, video of his carrier landing, uh, which I assume is to be instructional, I think, or either that or to show achievement. I'm assuming that it's instructional as he did pay attention to some details that are important, and um, but he missed some things, so I'm going to make sure that I touch on those. Um, for this video, I'm going to be flying the F-4J since the Phantom seems to be my favorite fighter jet, and um, it's ah, it's carrier capable, so I'm going to be using that. On this grip, um, on the outside, it's very graphically nice. Not so quite so graphically nice on the inside as the A C C though. Um, I've already calibrated my altimeter. I always like having my um, gun sight turned on for some reason. Um, let's see. So yeah. Now, I'm a bit of an auto throttle whore, so I'm going to use that. And it cruises and climbs or whatever. I tend to cruise best in this at 400 knots indicated airspeed using the full fuel. So, let's get in the air then. Gotta lower the flaps first. Full flaps for the F4J. And we're departing west. Okay, so we're in the air, and I got that taken navy there, so I'm going to use that since we are currently in uh, IFR conditions over San Francisco right now. Actually, while you probably shouldn't do this, I'm going to go back under those clouds. So kind of towards, kind of towards the um, where the taken needle is pointing, but um, not directly at it because I know that it's headed south, and I need to be able to turn that way. Wow, kind of low. turn towards the Golden Gate Bridge and I kind of, from there you should be able to see Nimitz. I'm not sure with the current weather conditions if that would be possible. Okay, now I'm going to start slowing down. I know it's like 130 something plus such amount of knots per thousand pounds of fuel, but I'm not sure exactly. I like using 150 and then figuring out from there. Okay, now there was a fuel there. So, reducing my speed. I saw where Nimitz is and I'm not slowing down quite fast enough. I need to cool off some. It's not quite 
At 280, I can drop my first to this flap. 260, my gear. Gonna just start it circling. Nah. Okay, 200, the last set of flaps. And I'll open the cockpit to increase the drag. I'm being mindful of my angle of attack indicator, which which is here and here. So I increase my speed when I feel that I have to increase my angle of attack too high to either remain level or to even be able to, to descend. Now I'm going too fast, so I need to drop my speed to increase my angle of attack as I descend. And I'm using the auto throttle to drop only like a couple of knots at a time. Well, it's not only really strapping, it's, it's fluctuating the speed based on my speed. So. Ah. Almost forgot the hook. Not quite aligned with the deck, but. Need to drop my speed some more. What I like with using auto throttle. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. Increase speed. Level out. Is that it applies? Ah, crap. Yeah, one thing can go wrong, right? Alright, turn around and go apart. So, what's nice with the auto throttle is that just like you're supposed to in the real world, it will apply full throttle as soon as you touch down. So that in case that you fail to catch the wire, you will be able to uh, get up off the carrier and make it go around and try to land again. Instead of, well, going swimming. So that concludes this instructional video and happy flying!